Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 48. Alright, uh, the previous episode was kind of wild. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what actually happened there. Uh, suddenly the <laughs> like uh, the whole Death City kind of uh, became a robot because of uh, the desire of uh, Shinigami to uh like f join in the fight as well and that desire kind of like manifested at like a, in a weird way which kind of made the whole city a robot so that the city can move with it like with shinigami and he like he does not have to go out of the city and he can like sit in the city and control the uh, like robot thing and uh, join in the fights so yeah that's uh <laughs> and like that's a good way <laughs> for the like wish to come true so yes and we also got to know what like abon's uh, device actually is and what it does and turns out it is a pretty powerful device like uh, making your wishes real like uh, that is quite powerful and as they said that if it falls in a bad hand then it might be like they might uh, use it for their own uh, selfish deeds uh, bad deeds and can like uh, like destroy the world or something like that like do their evil job like uh, the things that uh, like evil people do <laughs> like those kind of things so yeah and yeah that was that episode oh also um we had a closure uh with uh like the whole thing with black star and mifune uh black star defeated mifune and now probably mifune <laughs> will join in uh as a teacher in shusen let's see what happens so but first we have to like deal with Kishin. after that all of the other things so yeah guys um without further ado let's get started with episode number 48 of soul eater okay uh also i'm doing a poll uh in the comment section below go and vote for it because soul eater is coming to an end very quickly it will be um one more week one and a half week more so after that i'll replace uh the like soul eater with one of the animes over there the one with the highest force so yeah go and vote so anyways guys uh, let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I made a robot. <laughs> Oh boy, and that uh, poking thing that it did. <laughs> Arachne. <laughs> Arachne was like, what the hell? Oh boy. Okay, um, like after what happened in the previous episode, I'm not sure how like this is going to end. Like... <laughs> Like each and everything in the previous episode was unexpected. Like obviously in these kind of like uh, shonen shows, uh, the way the fight goes, uh, it can be predicted. Like uh, seeing the things that are happening before, we can kind of predict what's going to happen after that. And yeah, like usually shonen animes kind of like tend to go in uh, like similar mold. But um, ah, <laughs> like <laughs> the previous episode. Like, none of the things that happened were, like, I, I doubt anything like that has ever happened in shonen anime history. Oh, but only in Gintama. Like, Gintama is an exception. Like, yeah, this is some Gintama stuff. Like, <laughs> like what happened previously? Like, suddenly a robot came into existence, and then it, like, ate Kishin. <laughs> oh, boy. But for Gintama, it was, it is, like, all, uh, like, kind of like a joke each and everything but i think this is pretty serious like it really like legit and ironically ate kishin and i'm not sure what is going to do after that let's see
Oh, okay. Ate it. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is where um, Kishin came. This is Kishin, isn't it? Oh my god, his voice completely changed. He was more like a little baby kind of, like previously when we saw, yeah, him inter interacting with Arachne. Oh, we're going to see the fight. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh my god, this is pretty bad. I Okay. Okay. Oh boy, this will be interesting to see the fight. Lord Death will suffer. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, I think this is a good plan. He isolated um, Kishin from each and every person. Like, Arachne can't help him. All right. <coughs> Oh my god, what? <laughs> Rice bowl. Oh yeah, you eat with the right hand, so left hand. Um uh left star. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, it's a yin and yang. <laughs> oh my god. One thing I have to say, Kishin looks fabulous. Like, his like, character design is amazing. Oh! What? <laughs> He absorbed it? Um... Um... What? That's uh, Maka's dad, isn't it? The death scythe? Yeah, spirit, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Oh! Okay, um, not that easy, I'm guessing. <clears throat> oh, Woohoo, damn, some cool powers. Okay, Kishin is okay, Kishin is struggling. But ah, uh, Shinigami is fine. Yeah, Shinigami seems a lot like casual. 
I think you can do it. Uh, um. <laughs> oh Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, what's the point? Oh, <laughs> I'm chop. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, so he's <clears throat> like that was the reason for the story that he said. Soul resonance? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, damn, that's a cool sight. Oh. 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 All right, it's overpowering kitchen. Oh, oh, he got saved. Oh, his hand. <clears throat> or. Yeah, his hand. Oh, boy. Oh. What the? What was that for? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that, that means you won't be like, you can't be intimidated, you're trying to say that or something? Oh wow, good job Blackstar, that's a uh, convenient way.
All right, Black Star, hold your horses. <laughs> Oh, what the? Whose whose house is this? What the hell? Oh, the witch. Oh, <laughs> Angela. I always forget her name, but she's not mentioned at all. So, all right. Um, okay. Oh, boy. Vajra Is Vajra the name of his like weapon? Oh yeah Oh yeah yeah Vajra is his partner <clears throat> oh my god that's vajra isn't it Oh no. Uh, yeah, but Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but no. <laughs> Why is he so confident? Like, Shinigami doesn't seem to be any any danger. Like, Oh boy. Oh no, he's going to target the others? 
Yeah, oh no. Oh lord. Oh my god. Ah uh, yeah, I I should have seen them co this coming. Like Oh no. Spirit is also injured. Oh my god. Yeah, he took it like head on. So I, I doubt uh, like Shinigami is defeated like I doubt he is like defeated <clears throat> Okay oh like he is denying himself now like the rules that he made for himself he's denying that like because of arachne is that it like is that the reason why he suddenly screamed Oh no, he might like try to kill her now. Like he said something about like mending the problem or or not. I don't trust this guy. Oh my god, I, I think he might kill her. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I saw this coming as well. Oh my god, well is that... <sighs> And here we go. Well, yeah, like I saw that coming. Like he was blabbering about uh, not having friends and not like any kind of restrictions, as they say, like uh, friends, parents, and like him saying those kind of stuff. Kind of uh, like can uh, what can I say? Like kind of went against his own like experience as he himself was kind of being uh, babied by <laughs> her acne and <clears throat> because of that like um, conflict within his own mind he said something out like yeah I have to like fix this and by fixing it it was obviously like I saw what was going to happen he went there and like killed Arachne and <clears throat> Like, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Galakne has been, has done some, uh, like, messed up stuff, like, that we know. Not messed up stuff, but, uh, like, some bad stuff. But, obviously, like, she is not lucky at all. Like, 
when she was like alive before like the 800 years ago she kind of was like forced to seal her soul inside that thing i think the golem i forgot uh what actually happened there but she was forced to seal herself and that was kind of unlucky but then after coming back and like um i don't know taking uh an interest towards uh, Kishin or Ashura and treating uh, him as kind of her like son or something I don't know what that was but she was kind of like uh, pampering him anyways <laughs> and uh, after that like uh, the return that she got was like death by his hands so yeah it's kind of unlucky so I feel like in, in that way I kind of feel bad for her like what else can I say? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a, like a betrayal uh, that Kishin did. But obviously, what can we expect from Kishin? Like he betrayed his own partner as like uh, Vajra was the name, isn't it? I forgot. Anyways, partner and each and every member of the Shibusen. So obviously, expecting him to not betray, like now is something that obviously that <laughs> we cannot expect from him and yeah and uh, the whole thing with uh, the shinigami fighting uh, kishin uh, obviously like the way they fought uh, i was pretty uh, like like it was pretty apparent that shinigami is a lot more powerful than kishin but here's what happened like like i've seen this scene before but big by before i say like uh, Black Clover, uh, if you, like obviously you guys must have seen it. In Black Clover, uh, the whole thing with uh, this is not a spoiler because obviously it has been quite a long time that it has like this episode has been aired. And Black Clover, uh, the whole fight uh, between Licht and um, Wizard King, like Licht was a lot less stronger than the Wizard King. Wizard King was uh, extremely strong. So what he did. He threatened to kill each and every other like people in the kingdom, and by that he got uh, like made an opening for um, to get uh, the wizard king and killed him in that moment, or injured him. Uh, obviously, not killed him. Anyways, uh, in that moment, so like that's how we do it. Like similarly here, like obviously we can see from the fight that. Um, Kishin was a lot weaker than Shinigami. So what he did, he like, like he provoked him and shot the other members who were like standing there. And obviously Shinigami did not have any time to block it or something. He just went there and took it, uh, like took it on himself. And that's how you defeat someone who is a lot stronger than you, apparently. And like I said, like this is like I've seen this before, but obviously <laughs> Soul Eater is a lot older. So I think Soul Eater did it first, or I'm not sure if something like this happened in an older, sh even older show. But anyways, uh, like I said, as if like a Black Clover did it first, but obviously not. Uh, Soul Eater did it first, but I'm seeing Soul Eater uh, later on, like later than Black Clover. So obviously I said that, um, like I've seen this before in Black Clover. Which should not have been the case because obviously Solita <laughs> is a lot older than Black Clover. It's like the whole like meme you know of like Boruto's dad meme. <laughs> Boruto's dad like in the same case here. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this like that's how you do it. Like that's how you defeat a person who is a lot stronger than you. You do not like directly defeat him. You try to target his loved ones like. <laughs> <laughs> that's the oldest trick in the book and yeah <clears throat> so uh, I'm still not uh, I don't know I'm still I still don't believe that Shinigami is defeated by so easily I'm sure that he will um, he will become be okay later on because this is Shinigami we're talking about so yeah, I, I don't think he, he could be killed so easily. So I'm sure that he will be back. Um, he might be injured. Uh, he might need to take some rest, but he's, he will probably be back. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay. Um, what else? Excuse me. Uh, 
and ah uh, that was basically the episode um kishin kind of like f talking like <laughs> talking about some like pretty difficult stuff about philosophy about fear uh, all of these kind of things and uh like uh, i don't know like i don't know actually what he tried to say but he most probably he went uh, like with the same path of like he said something about uh making rules uh making these kind of restrictions these uh do not okay let me see like he said a lot of things and kind of confused me in the end like what he was actually trying to tell uh okay here it is not having to live with tiresome rules about parents and friends mm, all right let's see uh okay here it is after he meets with excalibur he says i don't care if there is nothing as long as fear doesn't exist there all right um excalibur says uh that phrase certainly brings some back on. However, the result is as plainly as you can see. You fall for such easy tricks because you're bound by pathetic rules and ties of obligation. Okay, so by this, I I'm guessing like he said uh, he's uh, like trying to say that he, the rules and the obligation, ties of obligation, that being uh, the case being here, uh, Shinigami trying to save them. Uh, by that he is trying to say the root ties of obligation now basically this is the same thing as naruto like the thing with sasuke that he's like his main uh i don't know like his main thing was that uh friends and like comrades make you weaker because uh, you have to like uh, they like uh, hold you down hold you back so hatred is the way his like sasuke's motto was that in like naruto and naruto shippuden uh so <laughs> like Kishin is basically trying to say that like you are being like bound by these rules of obligation these pathetic rules so that's the reason why you failed and uh i don't know what to say like this has been said for a long time before and the whole thing is being like uh like this whole thing of like i don't know like friends make you weak <laughs> friends make you weaker or like friends uh because of them you are like uh, forced to hold yourself back stuff like this this is i don't know like <laughs> this uh, that doesn't work now like uh, that's the same thing like villains have been using for quite a long while and the same with kishin and i'm not sure like what actually kishin wants like like each and every character in this ep like in this show has kind of some kind of uh like goal like for example medusa's goal was to <clears throat> like i don't know for ex like for not making the world fall into a slump like that was her main goal that's the reason why he like revived kishin like he did all of the bad stuff that she did which i really found extremely unique her like point of view of the world and her like reason for doing the bad deeds it was kind of a unique reason why he did it why she did it and uh, the other bad guys arachne i'm still not sure what arachne wanted but most probably like arachne wanted some kind of like ruling the world kind of thing i i i, I think like that kind of a motivation uh, obviously but like these are like all of the different reasons of the different um bad characters in this show but Kishin's like like why what does Kishin want I still do not get it like like why did he even betray them like uh, like he said something about being uh, afraid being and these rules kind of like he like his especially in this episode the things that he said really made me more confused of his like actual goal like what does he really want um yeah he started saying something about like when he was like uh sealed in that um in that like within his skin he had a lot of time to think he started thinking a lot of things and like thought about the like world being also part of a, like a skin 
and uh, within that like uh, world if you peel away the thin skin uh, it's just like what lies underneath and what does okay let's see like, I'm a bit confused as to what he actually wanted to say like Shinigami himself was a bit confused he was saying like what the hell do you mean like what do you want to say like just say it clearly <laughs> Oh boy, what else? Oh, another thing he said is like the fear. Like he said something about um, like what is like people do not fear death. People fear imagining death. Now, yeah, that is kind of the truth because obviously death is something that comes quickly. So obviously people does not fear death because when death comes, you you die like. <laughs> yeah like obviously duh like when death comes you die like that's like that's not what i wanted to say i wanted to say it's like when death comes it is like in a fraction of seconds so obviously you cannot fear death because you do not know what death is no one knows what death is for example like have you like you won't be able to meet someone who's who could say that yeah like i died once and it was nothing much like it was just something ah eh, nothing like uh, much to fuss about like you cannot find anyone who can say that because obviously like when you die you die you won't be able to come back so obviously people cannot say what death is like what death feel like the only fear people has is not of death because obviously people do not know what death is so how can they fear that they fear imagining death like uh, like we imagine like what will happen if we die like uh, does, does it hurt uh, what happens is it painful or is it something that we don't even know that it happens and it just comes like that uh, and a, a lot of things we fear a lot of things we'll fear of the people who are who we are going to leave behind that's also another fear or we might fear like uh, if there will be some person who will shed tears for us after we die like that's also another fear like we might feel as if like will there really be someone who will be sad after we die and these kind of things a lot of things so the thing that he said is extremely appropriate like yeah people do not fear death people fear imagining death now excuse me so <laughs> yeah like obviously kishin had a lot of time to think he was like s s like sitting inside that cocoon of his and thinking about philosophy about the world about <laughs> a lot of things so yeah um but I think he took that thinking a bit too far <laughs> and he, <laughs> he has become even more, um, I don't know, like kind of cynical, kind of uh, a weird kind of personality now he has. And another thing I was really uh, surprised about is like his change in tone. Like previously, in, I think in the previous episode or uh, one of the episodes, like we saw Kishin kind of talk like a really, you know, really weird way. Like um, when um, Arachne was babying him, like he was saying something, I don't know, like in a really weird way. <laughs> it kind of uh, like a baby does. Excuse me. He was not talking properly, like uh, not talking like now he is. Now suddenly after coming in front of Shinigami, his tone completely changed. And he started talking in a re extremely like cool manner and i was really surprised at that like the way he like changes like the shift in his uh, way of talking it's kind of impressive <laughs> oh my god but yeah obviously this is kishin he is kind of a weird mad type of a character like not mentally stable obviously he's not mental mentally stable so yeah all right that was this episode oh and also uh, like arachne obviously i think arachne died because uh, he like extracted her soul and ate it now i'm not sure how the other people will react to that uh, by the other people i mean uh, arachne's teammates for example mosquito and who else um uh, the the chainsaw guy and are there anyone else in their team? No, these two are the only ones, aren't they? Mifune was there, but now he has shifted to like uh, Soul and like Maka's side. 
so yeah these two are the only ones i think yeah so obviously mosquito is extremely loyal to um arachne so he definitely will be pissed but i'm not so sure about uh, the chainsaw guy i think the chainsaw guy also has kind of a loyalty because he was the one who kind of like uh, brought arachne back and i think that uh, proves his loyalty enough so yeah like i think both of them will be pissed at that and i'm I, I i'm not sure what they will do after this because obviously arachne is gone i think and the person who uh, killed arachne is the person in front of them that is kishin so will they like switch sides now like will they not switch sides but will they like not go for uh, Shibusen now and like change targets and go for Kishin now like we'll have to see that uh, in the next episodes I'm guessing we'll see that and uh, I'm also guessing Kishin is going to get a lot more powerful because obviously he consumed um, the witch soul so yeah and uh, I think uh, the Vaj uh, the his weapon the, uh, that that he ate Vajra, it was his name, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think that, yeah, the thing that he was coming out of his mouth, that was his weapon, wasn't it? Like, he was using it to, like, 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 I don't know, like, to, like, emit beams or something, some kind of, like, red beams. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, that was just something I noticed. So, yeah, guys, um, that was it. Uh, that was this episode. Uh, this was episode number 48 of Soul Eater. We're almost at the end. So three more episodes, yeah, 49, 15, 51. So yeah, and it's almost at the end, and I can also feel it. Like the fight is also going to end in a couple of days, and we'll get to see what happens in the end. So yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, that was it. That was this episode. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share. I'll be sure to check them out. And also I am holding a poll down below in the comment section. Go there and click on the link. You'll go to a page where there will be like five choices of animes that I am going to choose one from and react to it, which will replace Soul Eater. So go there and you can vote for it. And I'll like take, uh, I'll react to the one with the maximum votes. So yeah. So anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.